I'm from New York City, but I've been living overseas for the past six years. Today, I'm going to tell you five reasons why getting your passport and becoming a nomad is something that you should be thinking about. Reason number one, your money buys you three to five times more. In New York City, if you wanted to get a single bedroom apartment without roommates, you'll probably have to pay close to $2,000. In Vietnam, where I'm currently at, I can get a one bedroom apartment in a nice neighborhood with a pool, gym, and sauna for just six hundred dollars and this is the case for most south asian and south american countries rent is about three to five times cheaper in regards to transportation a 30 minute uber ride in new york city would probably cost around thirty dollars this same ride in vietnam is only six dollars and if i wanted to take a motorcycle instead of a car it's usually half of that so we're talking about just three dollars overall transportation is five to ten times cheaper in regards to meals if i wanted to go out for a nice meal in new york city it would probably cost me thirty dollars minimum for like two dishes and that's not even including the tax and tip so i'm probably paying close to forty dollars in asia i can get two dishes at a nice restaurant for like ten dollars and i don't have to tip so overall food is four times cheaper the same goes for healthcare and entertainment and just about anything else you can think of overall your money buys you three to five times more overseas which means you don't even need to be making much money to live a good life which is in stark contrast to life in the West. I've been seeing a lot of videos of people from the US saying that they only make 50 or $60,000 a year and are unable to afford the cost of living. It's gotten so bad that they've turned to maxing out their credit cards just to survive. If you worked remotely and made $50,000 while living in Southeast Asia or South America or even Eastern Europe, you would be living lavish like a king. It would be equivalent to making 250 k back in the US. Reason number two is dating. Now, this is somewhat of a controversial topic, but I don't think it should be. It's simply a fact that it is easier to date overseas. Let me tell you about my personal experience. I'm a decent looking guy that's been in several long-term relationships before I started traveling. Back in the day, if I spent an hour on Tinder, I would probably only get three to five matches per day. And out of every hundred matches, I would probably only end up going on two or three dates per month. Now, when I started traveling overseas, my results literally 10 x It did didn't even matter where I was. I could be in South America, Europe, or Asia. My dating app would be blowing up with notifications. I'm talking about hundreds of matches every week, which made it incredibly easy for me to go on multiple dates per week with little effort. If you want to enjoy life as a nomad, you're going to need a remote job, which is why I made a video on the top five remote jobs on the market right now. These are all high paying, legitimate careers that do not require a college degree. And what's great is that for most of these jobs, you can get hired within three to six months if you follow the instructions that I cover in that video, which I will link to in the description box below. Moving on, reason number three is safety. Every year when I go back to New York City, my friends and family tell me about the rise in hate crimes, the daily mass shootings, the random acts of violence, the increase in robberies, and the decline of mental health in general. They even suggested that I don't take the subway anymore past 11 p.m., which was a shock because when I was a teenager, I would often take the subway home at 3 a.m. and not have to worry about a thing. Overall, it's clear that Western societies like the U.S. and many parts of Europe are becoming more dangerous. When I bring this up with my friends, they usually say, yeah, but it'll be fine. Things will get better. But that's just wishful thinking. We have to step back and look at the trend. If things are getting worse in a country, chances are it gets much worse before it gets better. That's how it usually plays out throughout history. Being a digital nomad allows me to spend my time in countries far safer than the U.S., which is better for my mental health and my physical well-being. This allows me to focus more of my energy on building up a business and enjoying life. Reason number four is the tax benefits. Now, this varies depending on where you are from. Some countries don't tax you at all if you live overseas, which means you're essentially saving 10 to 30% of your salary. This is not the case for U.S. citizens. We are taxed no matter where we live. However, there are several tax strategies that you can explore with your accountant if you are from the USA, one of which is called the FEIE program. Essentially, if you live outside of the U.S. for at least 11 months every year, you may qualify for a tax deduction on the first $100,000 that you make for that year. Strategies like this can potentially save you tens of thousands of dollars. And if you think about it, that would basically cover all of your flights and living expenses for the entire year. So it's like you're getting paid for not living in your country. But of course, please make sure to check with your accountant to see which strategies you can legally implement because it varies case by case. 
Now, if you manage to take advantage of tax benefits, you will end up saving a lot of money, which gives you the opportunity to start your own business overseas, which actually brings us to reason number five, better business opportunities. I've made Vietnam my home base for over four years now, and I see how promising of a future it has. It has some of the hardest working people that I've ever met. It has an incredibly strong manufacturing industry, and it's becoming a much more popular tourist destination. Knowing this, I decided to open a gym with a friend who is local Vietnamese. We decided to open it in a tourist location that's becoming more popular. It only cost me $5,000 and I now own 50% of the company. I don't do any work whatsoever. My friend manages everything and I've been making roughly $400 per month from this investment, which means I'll break even in just about a year. If I wanted to open a gym in the US, it would cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars to start. I would probably have to take out a loan and go into debt and it would probably take me three to five years before I break even. That's a assuming I don't go out of business. Fun fact, 45% of businesses fail within the first five years. Sure, there's a chance my gym in Vietnam fails, but it only cost me $5,000 to start, which is just a fraction of the amount of money I save by living overseas instead of back in New York City. By being overseas and taking advantage of tax benefits and the lower cost of living, I'll be able to open up multiple brick and mortar businesses like this every year, which will give me a steady stream of income that constantly grows. Now, if you want to reap all of these benefits, you're going to need a remote job. You can check out my video on the top five remote jobs on the market in the description box below. These are all high paying, legitimate careers that do not require a college degree. And what's great is that for most of these jobs, you can get hired within three to six months if you follow the instructions that I cover in that video. Hope you like this video. Let me know what you think about these benefits in the comments down below. And besides that, stay tuned.